Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of the One Chest Challenge, the challenge where I can only open one chest for every level. Where we left off, we struggled massively to get anything because we didn't have a weapon for so long. But now that we do, things can go by a lot quicker. Um, I'm curious if I could get... Oh, hello, Key Guardian. I could get level 9 just by doing this secret discovery and then killing the mini boss that's contained within. But, there we go, there's level 9. Let's go ahead, we're gonna open the chest that's right over here at the end of this little area. And someone got it, okay. But I'm going to attempt to get the chest at the end of this cave. Ah! They do too much damage. Is the chest at the end of this cave available? Okay, chest is here. Let's see what we get. Ooh, okay. So, Feather of Grace, just funny. We got a new weapon, which is level 12 to 16. Some stuff that we can sell. We've got our first powder. It's a tier one earth powder. That'll be really nice. More emeralds. We've got another weapon, but it's not rare tier, so it's probably worse. And then we've got four morph topaz, so we can probably get a really nice roll on at least one of those and have a pretty decent morph topaz to replace the wedding ring. The morph set is basically going to be what carries me in this run. Seven agility. Ooh, that'll be really nice for staying alive. 87 and 25. Okay, so we got one good one. Let's go down here. Get level 10, grab the chest. I'm basically exclusively grabbing tier 3s and 4s at this point because grabbing anything less really doesn't benefit me because I need to be able to get accessories. Some poison would be nice, honestly. It would give me the ability to smack some things and then walk away. There we go, there's level 10. All right, let's go to the end of the cave, get the tier three, I believe it is. Hello, tier three. Ooh. Okay, so potentially a new necklace. The ring's gonna be one we've already had. These are all things that I can use. But what I'm really interested in is the elemental powders. Down we go. And Ruins of Debtless, and we are now level 11. We now have Teleport. Got two more skill points. I'm gonna throw them into Dexterity, I guess. All right, so I want the tier three chest and nothing more. That is in this room. Up there. All right. Let's see what we get. Ooh, yes, just what I like to see. I never got rid of all my junk, unfortunately, but that's fine. I can throw these on the ground and pick them up. But let's figure out all of our stuff, and then we're going to go do Tunnel Trouble. So I'm going to throw a Fire Powder, I think, on my weapon. Just a Tier 1. Make it a little bit more powerful. That's another discovery. Hell yeah. Oh, geez. That was a bunch of XP. 500 for that. That's level 11. Ooh, so close. We're less than 100 away. Right, there's level 12. And even if somebody hadn't, it didn't give me anything useful, I don't think. Why is this chest scaled for, like, level 4 when there's a level 10 enemy in the room? No combat XP. Really? Okay. That's annoying. I guess I can just kill regular pigmen then.
There we go, okay. We've got another Morph Topaz. We've got a Bracelet that's at a higher level. Five Intelligence, 1% XP bonus. The XP bonus is terrible. And then Worry is Intelligence, Reflection, and Soul Point Regen. Ooh. It'll trade my Agility, though. 3%, okay, that's fine. All right, so we lose out on a bit of loot bonus, a bit of XP bonus, because we lost 1%, but we gained 11 health and we got 5 intelligence, which I don't think that affects anything. Yeah, no, we need 6 more points for heal to be less. But we now have at least 4 points in everything, so we can get a plus 1 across the board instead of 6 health and then 9% XP bonus, so we actually overall gained XP bonus. Oh, there we go. There's our level. Level 14. The chest? Okay. I don't know if there's much in here. The astute of you may have noticed when I opened that chest that I had one too many chests opened. I think also I picked up red mushrooms and stuff. That green flesh. Just those. But I don't have any new items. I didn't pick up anything. Uh, there was a chest over just outside of uh, Debtless that I, I'm i so used to opening it every time I pass it, and I'm so used to it always being empty that I literally just, as I'm running past, I just went click and then I just kept going. Because just instinctively I just open all the chests. It was an off-level chest, I hadn't leveled up yet, and so that chest didn't count for anything. But it was technically an extra chest. With that one random extra chest open, if people want the chest number to stay accurate, I am more than willing to skip a chest in the next video. There we go, there's level 15. So we're gonna head down into this cave down here under these little ruins. It's a little like basement place. We're gonna check out this chest right here. Okay. Ooh. It's all way higher level than me, geez. There we go, there's level 16. There we go. Alright, tier 4 chest. And more Morph Topaz. Water and Earth Defense at the cost of Air Defense. A little bit of damage. Less walk speed. <clears throat> Is the health worse, worth more to me than the intelligence? I'll take it. I'll take the minus 3 just to get the extra health, because I do die too easily. Uh, and all the Topaz are worse. Damn it. Why is my Topaz luck so bad? There we go, there's some more air damage. At least until I replace this in like two levels, potentially. I think that's gonna be it for this episode. We got another eight chests looted and then clicked one as I ran past, like a dumbass. We're leveling up pretty consistently. I think next episode we'll be able to start actually getting something. So I thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.